Hello pottery students. You're gonna have a sticky note and you're gonna write your first and your last name on this sticky note. Okay, here's my first and last. All right, then you're gonna get some clay. It's gonna be, oh, you know, about the size of a large grape or black olive. And then you're going to smush it on your table paper like this. Okay, and this is gonna be what's gonna be your pendant. All right, then if you wanna make a couple beads, you can. So to make those, you're just gonna roll a couple of um, spheres. Okay, and these are not perfect by any means. They're just round-ish. Okay, so then we've got that. Then I have some extra clay here, and this is gonna be my test clay, okay? So I have some objects here that I'm going to practice textures in. I'm kind of thinking what I want my um, pendant and beads to look like. Huh, well, I don't like this. I thought I would. Okay, ooh, I like that one a lot. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I like this one. So I'm gonna come over here and press it into one side like that. Okay, and then um, I think I'm gonna use this one for this. And I'm just gonna roll this around, creating some textures on this. Now if I wanted to leave this flat and smooth, I could. Okay, so now I've got two beads and a pendant. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and write my name back here. So I know this is mine. Okay, and I, I really can't do much with those as far as labeling because they're kind of small. And then what I'm gonna do is take a straw and just push a hole in. But my hole has to be away from this edge a little bit. If I push it in too close, it'll break. Then I'm gonna take my straw and go through my bead. Okay, so now I've got a hole in that one. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Push a hole in. And I, I'm losing some of my textures. So while my um, thing is in there, I'm gonna roll. I think I'm gonna do that to this one too because my textures are getting a little smashed up. There we go, I like that. Okay, so these are a little contrasting, but I think this will look kind of cool when it's together on a wire. Okay, so then after I get that done, I'm gonna get my folder and I'm gonna go to a page in my folder that is blank and I'm going to write glaze plan. There we go and I'm gonna draw this. Now I wanna leave room for other stuff here. So here's my pendant and it's got little circle-y things on it. And I'm gonna make this be solid so I know that's the hole. Okay, and then here's my beads. I had two beads and they've got kind of a waffle pattern to them. There we go. So now I kind of know what I'm gonna be looking for later when I see this again, which won't be for a few weeks. All right, well, thanks for listening. And uh, remember, you wanna try at least about three uh, textures, maybe more, all right? So anyway, if you enjoyed doing this uh, sculpture lesson, please subscribe.